everyone, it's Shell C from Paper Octio Studio, and today I'm sharing with you the sped up version of the live stream show that we have every Thursday at 8.30 a.m. Pacific Time over on Art Joy Sharing live stream channel. That is a separate channel that Peg Robinson and I live stream on every Thursday, unless we're out of town. <laughs> and today we did gel printing. We had a, a lovely gel printing session. This first one that I'm doing is that technique with the dark and light. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on this technique because people keep asking me about it. And um, I think it would be easier to just do a whole video with that technique alone. Something I really enjoy doing. It's um, layering up the colors on the plate and then pulling it all off at once in a multi-layer print. It's my favorite way of printing. So. <coughs> Excuse me. So that one was with the July Stencil Club stencils from Stencil Girl. I was trying out my new stencils um, that I haven't actually printed with. I've been playing with them with other things in my journal and stuff, but I haven't printed with them. So I don't think I got through all of them actually, but <laughs> I had them out and ready to play. Um, this is the same technique of adding bright colors over dark. Um, this stencil I think is called Ancient Marks and it's also a Stencil Girl stencil and I made some really cool stuff. Three different prints with this this session of printing on this one. Um, this last one is using the copper paint to pick up the layers and it it really looks um, almost like old but yet has the bright colors in it it's it's just a fun stencil and a fun a fun technique so of course while I was doing this Peg was also printing and so you got double but you didn't get to see each individual print as it was coming up because there's two of us and we have to ch you know share the screen back and forth um, and of course this is just my session my section of it <laughs> hers is on her own channel so there's the ones that I made. All all those three were made at this with the same pressing um, and layering with the Ancient Marks stencil. Of course, I use my 6x6 gel plate and my 12x12 gel plate together. I use the 6x6 to um, help uh, ink up my brayer and then I put it onto the 12x12. So I like to get the crusty bits off there every once in a while. And these are a couple prints with the crusty bits. This technique is one that I was just trying out and I'll probably make a separate, I'll put that in the separate video when I get around to making that separate gel printing video of techniques that I was talking about. This one is using baby powder as a resist and it makes really interesting grungy, um, almost oxidized looking stuff. You start with the lightest color, put some baby powder on it, put a little bit darker color on, put some baby powder on it, put the third color on. And I thought it was going to make my, my plate messy, that I was going to have to go um, wash it, but that didn't actually happen. If you don't have baby powder, I think you could use cornstarch or flour to do this too. But see how it makes that real interesting, multicolored, cool, grungy, I don't know, really awesome. I, I need to use those papers. They're really cool looking. <laughs> so then I was using my wheel stamp and I intended to do this a lot more. Actually, an hour and a half show isn't enough to do all the stuff you wanted to do with your gel printing. I actually did a little bit after, um, before I decided to edit. I did a few more prints, but I'm still talking about that technique because someone asked a question in the chat. So here's a different Stencil Girl stencil. This one's called roots I think might be called roots I'll link these in the description box below I have done it before and you've seen these before when I've been using them but in case you missed one of those videos that already had the links I'll put the links there too um, I don't have an affiliation with stencil girl I just think they have really great stencils so I, I was thinking about um, maybe some fall or autumn colors because we're having high heat warnings here in Arizona it's hot it's very, very hot, over 100 degrees Fahrenheit every day. And so I wanted, you know, to think about autumn and cooling off. So I decided to use some of these toned colors. 
on the roots stencil and um, some copper and then of course some of those reds and oranges that you would see in the fall and this one too with another stencil girl stencil that's a circles one um, I was talking about that similar these are two different brands of stencil that look almost the same I just got that one from dark dark room door and I had had it on my list and I, I pulled a few things from my Amazon list and and purchased them and that was one of them and I have a stencil from stencil girl that's almost exactly the same <laughs> so I was just making I was making fun of myself as um, during the show so that's why you saw those but next um, I wanted to print on some fabric and I have some um, some lightweight muslin cotton fabric which has not been washed I think that before you print you should wash the fabric and dry it without any fabric softeners because you don't want to have anything in the fabric that's going to resist your paint but my first idea was to, to mist the paint the fabric a little bit and see if that helped me absorb more paint and made it make it more intense so I layered up this six by six plate and I put my fabric on there and then I set it aside to dry because now it's a little bit wet um, because I had misted the fabric and it, that didn't actually work it didn't print any better than it would have anyway the gold paint didn't even come up and I had done the same thing with this piece um, on the 12 by 12 so then I pulled up these prints because there was a lot left on the plate I pulled up a ghost print onto some paper and they turned out nicer than the <laughs> the fabric. I ended up layering and layering more paints on some of these pieces of fabric. I was trying to go for like a really in, really um, uh, opulent kind of brocade look with this stencil on the on the um, fabric and I just it ju just wasn't pulling up enough so then when I did the rest of the fabric prints I did not wet the fabric and like I said before you should probably have wet fabric for this. I think it would work better, but uh, I mean, not wet, but washed fabric for this. I just, the fabric was a last minute thing um, and I pulled it out, but it's just, you know, right off the bolt, not treated with anything other than just, just right off the bolt. <laughs> so I continued to print on fabric. This print completely failed. I left it in there to show you um, what can happen and how you can continue to print over the top of it and make it something a little bit better. Um, I printed that that tile design over the other piece and that turned out pretty nice and that was just another one that I had already printed on that was kind of light. But then this one, the colors were too similar and not enough of it pulled up off the plate and it just looked like nothing. No pattern. Just ridiculous. So I kept printing on the top of it and ended up with something okay. It's not my very favorite in the world, but the other ones here I did continue to print on top of also. And like this one it just seems too light. I was going for something really rich and it's just, it's too light. And I can see the, um, the weave of the fabric. I can still see it. So I decided this is where I'm putting another layer of similar colors and pattern on top of this one. I don't know if that's the very first one I did or not, but anyway, I've got a picture of some of the other ones coming up. See, it looks better with the second printing. It's it's more rich. And then those are those are of course of course a, there's a cleanup print there too on paper and then some of the other that one I went over with black, hoping that was the purple one, the failed purple one that I went over with black. So I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment or question below. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Share if you want to. Turn on your notification bells if you'd like to get notified of my um, videos when they come out. I think we're pretty much back to every other day. <laughs> so... This is just a flip through of all of them. Um, and then at the end, there's one picture <coughs> of three prints that I did after the camera went off with the July Stencil Girl 
a 6x6 stencil. So anyway, that's it for me. Thanks. Bye-bye.